Hello everyone, welcome into Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah presents Time for Tea. Everybody's got a little time for tea. Take some time for tea with Deborah today. Now this is not sponsored by anybody, but I do subscribe right now to Sips By, which gets you a monthly subscription um, to different teas according to your own taste. You fill out stuff on the website and they pick some stuff for you. Last time we had Super Irish Breakfast, which had me like shaking the whole day because it was super high caffeine this one is a non-caffeine version which is good because this is getting recorded a little bit later in the day this one is by tea kitten tart tea to the part tea and i love this uh, this is from october you know i'm always a little behind on something um but they give you instructions for each tea and kind of what they're about for this one it says it's a one and a half teaspoons per eight ounces of water i don't own um a, a teacup that small or a mug that small so I got one of my smaller mugs which is still bigger than that ah that timer that you just heard that was for the 10 minutes of steeping time for this one so yes I did have that set up for that and how I did this was they give you this reusable bag that you can put tea in and use that to steep your tea but inside that reusable bag there are also some disposable tea bags if you don't have your own tea ball to use I decided to use one of the disposable tea bags in there a little paper uh, tea bag kind of deal and to keep me from losing it in the whole kit and caboodle I put my little decorative clothespin on the end and set that on the table because that works okay now I've got my little spoon here now this tea, what the description says, I'm gonna have to take off my glasses because y'all, the bifocals just don't work, okay. Uh, 212 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 100 Celsius. They want it full boiling. Um, in it, you'll find hibiscus, apple, papaya, currants, elderberries. Your mother smells like elderberry? No. Uh, black currant flavoring, raspberry, strawberry, sunflower, and corn flour. And their whole thing is with the cats, this tea kitten, it says, and it's caffeine free by the way we're not kitten when we say this is the perfect copycat to fruit punch brew it hot and cuddle up with a mug or brew it cold for a refreshing fruity delight you got to try this okay i hear y'all all right it i have to tell you it smells absolutely wonderful i fixed a cup for myself and a cup for the hubby and since we don't have normal size cups it took all of this normally you get about four servings worth um, out of what they give you in these boxes you either get four tea bags or whatever it took all of it because well we're not normal um, but oh gosh even what's left in there smells delightful let me get the bag out of here because I don't like to over steep my teas and I am going to try it without sweetener first because I normally like my teas to be a little sweet at least a little sweet and like for black teas and stuff I like to have milk in it but this, we're not going to do that. And of course, y'all may know, oh, this, by the way, today we're using my Mad World Haunted Attraction mug because even though, you know, Christmas is coming, we've just had Thanksgiving, um, I'm always all about Halloween. Yeah, I really am. Super hot, burns my mouth, and then I'm in pain the rest of the day. So I have to cool it off a little bit in the spoon first when it's, you know, fresh out like this. But boy, this smells delightful. That does, I mean, I right away, I think I'm getting some of the papaya and the hibiscus, definitely for the color, because it's pink, y'all. This is some pink tea. I don't know if you can see that. But I think I do want it to be sweet. I'm going to stick a stevia in there, which has the equivalent of roughly... It says it does of two teaspoons of sugar. It's a slightly different flavor. Stir it up. But I could definitely see this being a cold beverage. Very refreshing tasting. Mm. That did it. Yes, it definitely needs, for me, it needs to be sweetened. Your taste may be different. Everybody's tastes are different. Um, I'm kind of digging it. Of course, I like fruity teas too. I love black tea. I love fruity teas. I like green tea. I like tea. All different kinds, depending on my mood. Now, if I was in the mood for a good cup of, you know, breakfast tea, 
this would not hit the spot. But boy, in the afternoon when you're just wanting a little something different, it's got to cool off for me though. That is nice. It really, they were describing it as a fruit punch. Yeah, this is fruit punch in a mug in a good way. I know that sounds kind of weird. Um, have you ever tried any of these like super fruity teas before with all the fruits in it? Now I've had the stash teas like the hibiscus raspberry and stuff. It's pretty good. But this one has so many different flavors in there. And they're balanced. You're not hit in the head with, you know, it's all papaya all the time or whatever. Mm -mm. That really is kind of delightful. I'm going to sit back and enjoy the rest of this once it cools to a drinking temperature for me. And um, I hope you have a good rest of your day and whatever you're doing, a good evening. Have a cup of tea. Make it non-caffeinated if it's in the afternoon, okay? Just, you know, word to the wise. But it, there is always some time for tea with Deborah. At least I think there is. See y'all very soon. Bye now.